Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, tonight I am going to do my haul for the month of December, pretty much. And I'll explain why it's only pretty much in a bit when I get to that particular section. Aha! That. So, here we go. Supplies. Oh, I hope you're having a hell of a day because I thought I'd lost something and I've actually just found it. And uh, I need to do an amendment to a different video. Anyway, so let's carry on with this one. The haul. What did I buy or what was I given in the month of December? Mostly bought. Not much. It's actually quite a short one for me. So I bought a pack of 10 red link shines. If you saw November, as you know, I bought previously a pack of 10 gold. What I'm going to do is when I get down to the last one that I've got, because I've got a few mixed packs together, I'm just going to buy the colour I need. So I know I need to order black ones, so that'll be what I'll be ordering shortly. Because I do love these pens. Uh, Supply-wise, I also got, I finally managed to get the metallic Sharpies. I've been trying to get for ages. And I had to buy them in two separate containers. So I had to buy the, these three loose and they were 3 99 for the three. And these three came in a packet and they were three pounds. So I've got the blue, green, red, gold, silver, and bronze or copper. As you can see, I haven't opened it. I haven't tested them. I'm gonna have a play with them later on. Now I could have got all six in one packet, but it was economically stupid. Because this was a three pound from Amazon free shipping prime. These were 3 99 free shipping. The Six packs together were 13.77 with Prime, so that's like an extra three or four pounds on top. So it was worth buying them like this. So that's what I've got. So I'm going to try those later. I also got, and I'm currently doing a, uh, or I will be doing a first impressions for you. Is this? This is the Mozart Kamora Bee watercolor set 40 watercolors japanese stars so they're very highly pigmented they come in the uh, slip case and in the silver tray and i've got it the wrong way around <laughs> it's got an m on it and inside you've got the little card it says hello there thank you for choosing them you've got all your half pants here all your little palettes here and with all the colors very very muted there but when you swatch them and use them they're very very bright so obviously i've done this already this is going to be part of the first impressions and I'm going to do a picture with them and look at those metallics, they are lovely. So I got those, I had some Christmas money so I used that to get those. Really, really looking forward to having a go with them soon. Right, on to the books I got in uh, December. So I got Colour by Numbers, Jay Summit, this is the Christmas one. This is the one I thought I'd misplaced and I literally just found it. Um, I've coloured in it, so I've got to add an amendment to my uh, completed pages. <coughs> Sorry, uh, just one of those things, but yeah. So that's that. That's the first book. Well, it wasn't the first book I got, but it's one of the books. I love these colour by numbers, and I can see me just colouring the Christmas one regardless of whether it's Christmas or not. Anyway, it's a really nice one. I also bought the Jade Summer Chibi Book Girls Christmas in Grayscale. I didn't get it when it first came out because I wanted the Grayscale version. And I really like the Grayscale version. There's a flip through of this on the channel if you wanted to have a look. I have obviously colours in this one, as you can tell by the pieces of paper stuck in it. And I really, I do like it. Yeah, it's really nice. I, I, next year I'm going to try and do more in it. Definitely going to try and do more. So, there we go, that one. I didn't get to colour in this one, but I got Sherry Baldy's My Besties Santa's Little Helper colouring book. I really like this. There's 25 images of each, which means when I've done one, uh, there's two copies. So when I've done one, Jennifer can do the other one. Again, there is a flip through of this on my channel, and I think it's really cute. And it's, it's been on the floor, so it's got a bit bent. I knew I'd had more and I was like, where's that one gone? And what happened is I put the ones I was going to do next on the floor but never got around to using them, so. Annoying. Again, another one I didn't get to use is the Jade Summer Kawaii Christmas. Again, there is a flip through of this. This is the grayscale version. Again, I held off getting till the grayscale come out, which is why I haven't had a chance to colour in it. So next year I'll be hitting this quite quickly. Obviously it depends on what Jade Summer brings out as well, because who knows, they might bring out some really good stuff. I don't know. Then I got the Relax Without Christmas uh, uh, special. 
a holiday special one, the Christmas one, issue 74 it is. These are like 2 99 and if it's something I like, I do pick them up. I've been picking them up more often, I love this angel. There are some really nice pictures on it. It's very hard to see because it's very, very faint lines. Um, I've got two whips in two of my Relax With Arts, both Christmas ones. This has actually got a whip in it, as you can see. Um, I am going to try and finish that before... Well, in January sometime, so... You know. Another one I got was uh, Colour Art, the Seasonal Collection. This was in Tesco and I thought, oh, that looks interesting. And some of the pictures are really good, but the paper's very weird. You get normal colouring paper in the middle, but right at the front, it's really shiny. And, and then the paper, you know, you get a few pages in and it, after a while, it changes to like normal paper. It's very, very bizarre. And it stays like that all the way through. They're like lots of patterns and things. Sadly, again, I... I wanted to colour in it and I didn't get a chance. But then again, there's things like cakes, which isn't necessarily Christmassy, and some patterns I could do. I don't need to wait till Christmas to colour in this if I wanted to. Like that. It's not particularly Christmassy. I suppose it is, but it, yeah. It's a nice book. Again, I only pick these sorts of things up if I'm kind of interested in. Um, oh, I can't even think of what the word is. Um, in what the, the subject matter is. I wouldn't just pick it up for the sake of it. Colour in Heaven next. Uh, this was the uh, collection. This was the Chibi Girls by Josh Lee. I haven't done a flip through this. If you want one, let me know. I'll pop one up. But again, just some fabulous Chibi Girls by Josh Lee. Really like them. Some more than others, which is always the way. But <clears throat> I just really like this style. I like that one. I'll be doing one of this soon, so if you want a flip through, let me know and I'll happily do one. There's probably loads of flip throughs of it on, on YouTube anyway, so it's not a major issue. So there's that one. And then the subscription issue, the final one of 2020 was Creatures of the Night. This is one of my favourites. I love pretty much every picture in this issue. Um, and I, I just absolutely adore it. There is obviously a flip through up of this one on the channel because I have a subscription. I just think it's amazing. The art is lovely. It's by Sarah Richter. Um, she does have an Etsy store, so I will be checking that out at some point. And at the moment, I've got so many books to colour in, so many pictures to colour in, that I'm a bit wary of actually buying anything else. You know, I've got lots of uh, images to print up that I've got from like the Discovery Club and I just haven't done them and I've got to start making a point of doing ones that are loose and trying to clear out some of my well not clear out but use the books I've got rather than buying more and it's great to buy them and I can show you them and I will be still buying my getting my colour in heaven and the colour in heaven collection if it's one I want and of course Jade Summer if they bring out anything I want and then I think there's one other book per month by another artist, so for instance Hannah Lynn, I haven't got her new one yet, there's a new one out by Selena Fennec, that one, I'm still missing Spirit Animals by uh, Hannah Carlson, I still want to get more of the um, Clara Markova books because I've only got the one, but of course they're very expensive, so that is that one. And then I had one, Chris one book for Christmas, and that was from Paul, and he didn't ask me which one I wanted, he just took a guess, and luckily he picked one by Karen Book Cafe, and I only have two books from them, and that is two, two of the Christmas ones. But he got me Seaside Life, because he thought, we haven't had a holiday this year, and he thought I deserved some beach time. <laughs> so yeah, I haven't done a flip through this, I can if you want me to, I think some of the pictures in here are absolutely lovely. And um, yeah, I'm going to, they've also got thumbnails. You could, you know, use the little ones just to test color combinations, I guess. But yeah, it's a really nice little book. So if you want to flip through that, just let me know and I'll, I'll pop one up. But you know what? 10 minutes and we're done. That's it. That is all I got this month. Very few books. Um, obviously it was Christmas, so it's a very expensive month. You can't afford to buy everything. Just simply because you're buying presents for people. So yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this very, very speedy, speedy, speed through. Um, obviously, I will be putting up more videos soon. I've got the second part of my Arteza um, videos to go up on the um, main pencils, the normal colouring pencils. I've still got to do the um, watercolour pencil video. And, of course, I've got the Mozart watercolours to do. Um, so I'll be getting on with them soon. We'll be doing a new, starting a new colouring chat on Monday. Uh, 
yeah, so we'll be we'll be starting that on Monday. Well, I'll be filming it on Monday for Tuesday because obviously Monday is the weekly vlog day. But the, I've kind of got a little little plan of what I'm going to do on one day on each day, so I don't get overwhelmed by everything. But uh, that's it from now. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little haul, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Hope you're having a great time.